Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? This is Kevin. Time again for a pocket dump deconstruction. It's Saturday. Man, it was kissing 90 degrees today on the east coast of the US. Overcast, 90, hazy. Settling down now. A little, but boy was it hot. So, of course, I have a very light carry. I had a very light carry today. It is Saturday, April 29th, 2017. I hope you're doing well. Hey, before we start, go catch the knife of the day. It's a fixed knife from Spydeco. And if you haven't caught the new series, the knife of the day, as I go through my collection, one knife at a time, one day at a time, go check it out. We have about 75 videos already. I thought it feels like I just started last month. So it's been around for over two months. Go check it out. All discontinued Spydecos. That's how I'm starting it. Then I'm going to go through all of the Spydecos because I owe you guys that. I said once we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'd go through my Spydeco collection. Tried to figure out how to do it, did it in bunches and all that. Now we're doing it knife by knife. After Spydeco, we're going through the entire collection. Okay? So we're doing Spydeco. I think the next year and a half it'll take to go through all of the collection. So go check that out. Show me some love. Now let's talk about it. Uh, this is Saturday, of course, so that means tag. <laughs> I always call my tag chronograph. I always call it the Sabenza of the watch world. I believe it. Tag is so well done and simple to me. The design is simple, but man, it's wonderful. I love the tag. I really do. Um, oh, hold on. Oh, man, that smells so great. What a wonderful cigar for tonight. Hey, I keep telling you guys, you have to spend a little time for yourself. I'm giving you permission to be selfish. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of your family. I'll, I'll tell you, I wish I would have taken that advice. I wish someone would have given me that advice years ago. I'd be a better father and everything else if I would have done that. So take some time out for yourself, just a little bit of time. I take... This cigar has always remind me to turn off the social media crap, turn off the computers and the DVDs and the, all that. Sit down with just myself. Sometimes that's scary, right? But do that. I smoke my cigars. This is a wonderful Cuban cigar, an H. Upman Magnum 46. Just a wonderful cigar. And then, of course, I sip a little. <laughs> McAllen 12 McAllen 12 because my good buddy one of my good buddies that watch these videos told me he got McAllen 12 he's like well not like you're 18 huh I love McAllen 12 or 18 I have them both I love them but I bought this bottle because you mentioned it so thank you for that I love it one of my uh, early tag um, tag Coach, one of the Coach Thin Wallets. Love my coaches. And then the coin for today, how come it's not, uh, okay, there we go, is the Ch <laughs> Chinese Peacock coin. Yeah, Chinese Peacock coin from 1997. Just a wonderful coin. I actually bought this when I was really heavy duty collecting silver coins and gold coins. Silver and gold. It wasn't just coins, bars and everything else. Before I sold it off. Yeah, silver went to $50 an ounce and gold was over f close to 4000 an ounce, was it? Yeah. And so uh, 3000 at least, 3500 And so I sold everything <laughs> and that's how I started my knife collecting. I'm not a dummy, but I kept a lot of pieces. I bought that along with a 10 ounce gold piece that went with it as a set. So sold the gold, kept the coin, and now it's one of my favorite lucky one ounce silver coins that I carry every day is good luck. Field notes, just a great field notes. And then, like I told you, 
hot day today. Hot day in the end of April. April came in cold and chilly on the East Coast. It's going out warm and hot. Um, so I needed something very, very... <laughs> I needed something light since I was wearing light stuff. And so I pulled out this classic FRN Cricket. I'll tell you another reason I pulled out the classic Cricket. A uh, young lady on Instagram uh, liked one of my pictures. And so I checked out what she was doing. And she loved Spydacos. And one of her pictures had a classic FRN. I don't know how. I don't, it was an FRN um, Cricket. And she had modified it to look like a worn cliff blade. <laughs> so I had to like it for the guts to do that. Uh, but it reminded me that I had mine. This discontinued. Yeah, look, one of the oldies, but very, very goodies. I have all of the crickets, all of the early crickets, and they're all in great shape. Knock wood. I was so lucky to get them, especially this R FRN scale one. These are the ones that have the liner locks, which are smoother than anything. Almost, all, you know, this you could tell early because on the back under the clip, the scales left alone. But also, it's not a frame lock, so you know it's one of the oldies. ATS 55 steel, earlier steel that Spydeco used. Just a wonderful hollow ground reverse s cricket 1.9 inch blade which really comes out to a 1.7 inch blade cutting edge spotty edge serrated edge of course the frn scales and the wonderful <laughs> liner lock only 1.25 ounces 4.6 inches when I keep it open. So only 1.25 ounces light, which is what I was looking for. This is my keychain knife. Light, small, really handy. And I thought I'd break out the dodo. Man, I, you know, I've been doing <laughs> these knives of the day of discontinued knives. I figured, man, I might as well bring out the dodo. This was Eric Glasser's, Glesser, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying glass instead of Glesser. The son of Sal Glesser, the founder of Spydeco. He's a very good designer. He designed this. I know you're looking at it. If you've never had it in your hand, you go, that's an ugly knife. But man, when you put it in your hand, it just floats into the hand. Of course, the blade's are a lot smaller than the handle, but they wanted the handle to fit, <sighs> fit your hand like a glove. There you go, another reverse S, where the belly does most of the cutting as an EDC knife. Just a wonderful knife. Ball bearing lock with the ceramic ball. Spydeco's ball bearing lock. This is the discontinued carbon fiber dodo. Man, that carbon fiber is nice. It is so nice. The wire clip. The clip is uh, tip up, right or left. Just a wonderful knife. Yes, it has the forward choil, which I love. S30V steel as well. Just a real nice knife. Yeah, it's dodo. It looks like a dodo bird. It's rare and ugly like a dodo bird. But let me tell you something. But that choil, more like an 80-20 choil, right? 80% um, of it. The carbon fiber, it just feels great in the hand. Nice, nice, nice carry. Oh, by the way, 2.6 ounces. Again, a nice, light carry. Looks great. Small, wonderful, light, hot day carry. And then the knife that I keep telling you flips like a dream because it does. It's the Browse Blade Caliber. You know... <laughs> You may not have tried uh, Browse Blades. You may not even know his stuff. Um, it's just a really nice knife. Uh, 
I have seen some of these now this is a blacked out version actually it's a one of a kind version where he carved out the carbon fiber on the handle so it's one of a kind but on Blade HQ man I have seen some of some of these going real inexpensive um, not real inexpensive less than <laughs> okay that's unfair um, it's not it it hmm depending on where you're coming from if buying a Sabenza is not uh, too expensive for you then this is it's less than a, a small Sabenza on Blade HQ and that's very good this is a real nice knife um, man um, let's see titanium liners it has a, a frame lock this has a spear point again I, I have a coated blade because this is the blacked out version I think the one I saw was just a uh, satin stainless steel version but go check him out if you're interested in this I'll tell you mine flips like a dream it's one of my best flippers three inch blade so it's a nice size for me seven inches when it's extended like this 3.2 ounces again I told you I just have like three very light knives and deep carry pocket clip this is tip up tip up left or right so tip up and then you remove this move that over there into that slot and you have a real nice knife d2 steel because that's all Browse plays Jason Browse uses but what a wonderful knife man it's nice it's beautiful and flips like a dream it really does that's the carry that's my light carry I was thinking light the whole time I, and how much pocket space the knives would take up. And so I was thinking about bringing out my only boker. Someone asked me, <laughs> do I have a boker? Yeah, this is it. I have always liked the Quaken, the boker Quaken. Inexpensive knife for me. This is the carbon fiber. I waited until they actually made the flippers. The original people were modifying to flip. This was made as a flipper. It's carbon fiber. Just real thin and handy. That's what I like. And flips nice. I mean, this Boker is on IKBS um, pivot with the bearings. Just flies out there. VG10 steel. 3.5 inches so it's a little bit too big for me for today not usually I just like how it feels it's so thin it flips out there with the IKPS pivot oh man I, I just whew, I like it I like it the clip it works not purdy but it works just real stainless steel liners the liner lock is great told you it was VG10 steel right 4.3 ounces as far as the weight this is a nice knife I've always that was me not the knife I've always liked these knives from Boker I really have their Quakens there you have it I almost pulled several times pulled the trigger on a custom Quaken, but man, when you look <laughs> for this price and this good of a knife, I went, nope. Of course, it's Saturday, so I had to go and get my all my Amazon stuff that I arranged to come here on Saturdays, and that means I have to pick out with my friends in the mail room. <laughs> they always hold my packages Saturdays and Sundays hostage until I bring down a knife I usually bring down one of my knives whether it's a fixed knife or a folder that's bigger but also that I don't get to use as much as I'd like to and this is a wonderful knife I'll tell you this is Browse Blades T4 it's blacked out G10 carved G10 on the handle Look how thick it is. Look at that backspacing and the work that he does on it. 
These are mid-tech knives. His clip is wonderful. It kind of follows the flow of the knife. I mean, the handle is unfreaking believable. That back spacer is great. It's a thick handle. It feels great in the hand. It flips like a dream. Look at the action is perfect. It really is. It just flies out there. I love this knife. It's a thick one when I'm trying to fit so much in my pockets, but man, they loved it, of course. I don't think I had ever taken this one down. They love it when I'm bringing newer knives. They're just going crazy. I even got them buying knives. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I... I should get a commission on all the Spydeco uh, value folders that I got sold in my mail room. But this is just a wonderful knife. If you get a chance to get a T4, you should try it out. Browse blades, T4, G10 handles, tie liners. He always uses titanium liners, which I love. Uh, wonderful backspacer, four inch blade. That's why it's the biggie. Six ounces. Just a wonderful knife. Flips like a dream. That, my friends, is the pocket dump. My carry, very light carry. Yeah, I'm into carbon fiber today. <laughs> I really am. The knife that got away, my one and only Boker. It's the Boker Quake and Flipper with carbon fiber. And then... Me and the mailroom boys had fun with this. This is the Browse Blades T4. Ah, the mid-tech. Blacked out with D2 steel. Hey, you guys. Man, we've been doing this for over a year. Really appreciate the chance to talk to you. Hope you're still enjoying these daily pocket dump deconstructions. Hey, don't forget to thumb this up to let me know to keep going. Uh, share, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your notifications so that when new knives come into the house, <laughs> I'll be able to share them with you. I really enjoy you guys. You have a perfect, perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.